Cool down, you accursed hot dog! Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today, you guys, we have a product that literally sounds like something that I came up with and named because today we are testing out Bun to Done. It is a device from Conair. This does look uh, similar to other things that maybe I've tested in the past, and yet it is supposed to be different because while indeed it does look like a set of hot rollers, these things you are theoretically meant to be able to put in your hair and wear out out as several different like bun styles. They're like, oh, do a basic bun, do space buns, and do this thing, which I actually really like. They're advertising this as like one of those products where you can have a different look during the day. Like maybe you're out doing things during the day and so you would need to have your hair up and out of your way but then like maybe you're transitioning into like nighttime activities and then maybe you would want to take the buns out and then like have your hair like nice and curled and styled that way let's go ahead and take them out and see what the product is going to look like oh this is some this is not frustration free packaging. So here we have instructions. Because these are meant to be things that you can wear out and about, they did offer a couple of different colorways. They have blonde and brunette. Now, oddly enough, at least on Amazon, the blonde was like $20 cheaper. Like the blonde version, I think was like $49.99 and the brunette was like $64.99. Got six of these little little hair curling noodle snakes and it looks like we actually get a range of blonde shades here very interesting we have like a very light blonde and then blonde and then I guess we'll say dirty blonde does anyone call it dirty blonde anymore it looks pretty simple here there is an on off switch and that is it now I am excited about these because they do feel like very soft in the middle and they are almost like they hold their shape, but they're like a little bit squishy as well, if that makes sense. It feels almost like there's a coil in here that is like semi-collapsible. Now these black dots that you see, they are rubberized. So I guess that's supposed to help you with like the grippiness. I think, yeah, they just click like that. So there we go, kind of similar to the bun donuts that I have not used in a really long time, but I used to love those. The bun formers, I think they were called. Maybe you guys will be able to see. There is a faint glowing red light. I am excited for these, but also just a little bit skeptical because I'm not sure how you guys feel about hot rollers. But for me, I've always had to put them in and then pretty much just like remain perfectly stationary. I can never really get them super tightly wound around my hair in a way that I think that I could like get up and like live life and be productive and do things. I just don't think like hot rollers would be the easiest way to put your hair in a bun. This product really only makes sense to me like if I can put it in, make cute buns that seem like they're gonna stay, and then if I would take them out and like wear my hair curly later on. Do not drop it into water. Thank you, Conair. Let me actually insult the in insult the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, in, I just said insult the instructions again. Consult. Consult the instructions and then I'll get back to you. All right. So basically they just tell you that you can wear your hair in a bun. Very helpful. So, uh, ooh, oh, they smell. They have something's cooking. It's like a melting plastic smell, which I know is not a smell that I should be attracted to, but honestly, I'm like, oh, creepy crawlers they did say like back comb your hair to put it in a bun which i'm honestly not thrilled about doing you guys because i'm only like resorting to other ways to style my hair this week because um i cannot crimp it again this week okay because i i will crimp it it's gonna i'm I'm gonna crimp it off. So I'm trying to use like, still I'm sure heat damaging styles, but less damaging than crimping. Plus it's like freshly washed. So 
to backcomb and tease like it's 2004 all over again. I'm not sure I was like ready for that styling commitment today. I was honestly gonna try and do like four. I used to do like a bun crown style and that was pretty cute. So that's what I was maybe thinking about doing. You're supposed to leave them in for a minimum of 10 minutes. Of course they say the longer that you wear them, the more wavy or curly that your hair potentially can be. I feel like they keep using the term waves. So I don't know that we're going to get like a curly look today. Then they said, you know, that like the results will differ based on hair type and texture, length of wear. And then I'm sure they are thinking like a bunch of other factors too. Like right now it's raining and disgusting outside. So if I like walked around with these in my hair outside, like would it, would it turn out? as good. I don't know. We're not going to find out. In the instructions, they just say like use up to three. They don't like say like you can't use six. You're going too far. So I'm just going to push the limits today and uh, just use all six in my hair because why the hell not? I don't think it could potentially go wrong. What I'm going to do because I think I did leave the thickest chunks of hair in these two like front pieces. I'm going to use the bigger rods here in the front. Oh, yay! Really, really, really hot, by the way. It's been so long since I've done a hot roller. I'm like starting in the middle-ish of my hair. I don't know why I think that's a good idea. I'm basically just trying to make sure that I like conceal and tuck in all of my hair. Oh, you guys. What? Oh my God, and I almost fell out of my chair. Well, that went well. My crispy ends there. Can you guys see anything that's going on right now or is this just pure chaos? Ooh, I kind of like how messy and unkempt and wild it looks in the front now. Oh, see that hurts. <gasps> Hot rollers are painful. I feel like I can never get them like evenly wrapped. Do you know? I'm gonna try and like shift things around a little more. How does this not happen? Okay, this is my experience with hot rollers every single time. Ow! And then every time it flops, it hurts so bad. It was the same with the Charlie cur curl, honestly. I think that's the thing that we did a couple months ago, Charlie curls. And it also flopped around and it was so painful. Sometimes I am kind of just like the simplest hairstyling things do not come easily to me because like, for instance, I can curl my hair all day with a clipless hair curler. But if you give me like ye olden traditional hair curler with a clip, like I cannot curl my hair at all. This is not cute, you guys. Now I guess maybe I could like clip it into place, but this also just doesn't look like a bun. This just looks like a mess. I feel like I would have six messes on my head. I feel like when I first take these things out of the machine, they are like on fire hot, but then it's like already pretty cool by the time I'm done like struggling to roll it up. See, I'm like literally rolling it as tight as I can to my scalp. Oh, okay. So that is like more secured in place as a bun. Let me see if I can like just roll some of the hair around it to conceal that a little bit better. It's kind of a bun, you guys. <laughs> Actually, like, don't feel like that's wobbling around on my head. So I'm just gonna leave it there as is. Ooh, maybe I could just like wrap some of my little torn out baby hairs. You guys, I think this is my hair like growing back after I <laughs> probably, um, fried it off with a crimper or broke it off from pulling my hair in a sassy bun for too long. Anyway, I clearly did not like evenly wrap everything. See, I just don't know if I would like want to wear this out in the world. Hopefully my hair will be in buns and hopefully by the end of my experience today, I will have some luscious semi-temporary curls, but I just don't know that I would like necessarily be like, oh yeah, this is a cute style. It's more like a functional style, you know what I mean? But we'll see, maybe as I go along, I will be able to wrap every section just a little bit better. Now, of course, cause I have the memory of a goldfish. I can't remember if I just wrapped that under or over or how I even did that. How is that like there right now? I don't know. <laughs> Well, it's there. I think that that's what was always, so, oh, it just unpopped. See, I was trying to like splay the hair around again. That's what like kind of makes me a little bit leery, I guess, about going out in a product like this is that the little like popper thing 
It's pretty easy to like clip together, but it also seems pretty easy to come apart. Am I just struggling with this or is this kind of like a trial and error kind of thing? I feel like people that just make stuff look so easy on the internet, like there has to just be like outtakes of failure that they don't include online. <laughs> I feel like my hair is gonna get caught. See, that's the little thing about like trying to disguise the roller, right? Is like, how do you not like catch your hair in there and pull it out? It's in there, folks. Doesn't look cute. It doesn't look good. <laughs> it doesn't feel sturdy. I don't know why I thought this was gonna just be so easy for me. Whoa, hot, hot, hot. Oh my God. There's nothing in between like it feeling too cold to be effective or too hot to just <sighs> like burn my flesh. My flesh is searing right now. And I don't like that. Like, especially the ends. Ha! Ah! Ow. Like, I literally, I can't. Oh my god. Has no one said this? Was there no Amazon review about, like, you will burn your skin? Okay, you guys, I literally can't. Get out. Get out, you burning creature. I'm gonna put on those little, like, oven mitts for hair styling. I guess I'll just, like, wave it around in the air. Ah! Cool down, you accursed hot dog. I was rolling my hair with the forbidden burnt meat. This is gonna go in so smooth. First time. Ha! Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just accepting the burn now. Hi. It's balanced on my ear. This doesn't look cute. And it doesn't feel good. At this point, I have pretty much given up on the uh, bun and uh, ah, I'm just trying to get to the and done part, if I'm being honest. You guys, I'm gonna read the Amazon reviews for burn warnings. Oh, I forgot the glove. Ah! It's untouchable, you guys, especially the part that is like down in the machine. <laughs> Yay! Like my thumb, it has to be burning it. We're almost done with this gorgeous style that I'm sure you guys are all following along with at home. I really thought I would love this one with the bun to done slogan. At this point, I'm gonna argue my buns are overdone. Ooh, isn't that an elegant style that just says, I'm ready for a day out on the city. I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Will I need to check in and just have a burning urge to rip these guys out? Or will I be able to leave it in my hair for, I don't know, I was planning like at least like an hour or something, but I don't know if they like annoy me <laughs> or they start pulling or giving me a headache, their time may come sooner. So it's 722 right now. All right, you guys, I think it's time to take out these forbidden hot dogs. I feel like some of them that looked more secure and bun-like earlier have now clearly descended into a world of madness. It is 9.16, so uh, they've almost been in for two hours and they've probably curled my hair as much as they can possibly curl them. So I know these buns look great, but I think it's time to just take them down and get these like pulling sensations to stop pulling on my hair. Everybody is always afraid of like heat styling or heat damaging their hair. But for me, I'm more scared of just literally pulling my hair out. It is like a little rat's nesty. I also think maybe I started like curling it two different directions. Wow. What is, okay, these are like honestly more fun. See, like, look at that. I feel like I pulled so much of my hair out. <gasps> Ooh, the fabric is like kind of see-through. You can't probably see that. Also now it's like forever in this kind of sad shape. So yeah, there's my fabulous girl. I feel like I have to like kind of untangle it. Oh no, oh wow. Okay, it is just kind of that curly. Look at that. Wow. <gasps> I look like the prettiest bun of the ball. So uh, that is kind of impressive. Now, I feel like I always do this like weird multi-directional thing when I use like curling items like this, like i.e. I'll wrap it in two different directions in the same strand of hair. Cause I think I started like wrapping it one way and then like trying to wrap it the other way. Why do I do the things I do? I don't know. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, see, I kind of think that this looks like Wind tousled, wind tousled hair, wind tousled hair. What am I trying to say? I honestly like really kind of like it. I feel like if my hair was like only this long, it would look extra amazing. Ew. Ooh. <gasps> See, that one looks kind of like naughty. I like that one. Ooh, now I'm like pulling them out as I'm trying to like 
separate them a little. How about some fun times flexible hairspray? Look at the tousled, tousled. Wow. Ow, ow, ow. Look at that. <gasps> I know what's gonna happen here, you guys. One side is gonna look way curlier than the other side. This looks pretty dang curly up high in comparison. I feel like this is like, well, cause it's this one was like higher on my head. I mean, it is really rainy here right now. <laughs> And even though I'm not going outside, the humidity will come and find me. And so I don't really expect these curls to last very long. I might be pleasantly surprised. Hopefully the fun times will help us out to preserve them. Get out of my hair, please. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Ta-da. Wow, these are like really bouncy. See, that one looks like... A little weird because I curled it in two different directions, but this was like the tiniest piece of hair that I wrapped around the thing. And this kind of looks like the best defined curl. Get out of my hair, please. Look at that. As usual, you guys, I'm pulling one of those reviews where I feel like my opinions <laughs> Oh, I just sprayed my body. I missed the hair entirely. I feel like I'm having one of those moments where like the entire time I was applying this, the entire time I had it in my hair, I hated it and I thought it was very silly. But now that I'm done and I've had the big reveal, I actually really like this. And looking back on it, it is pretty convenient if you put them in your hair and just start doing your makeup and then you're just like passively styling your hair at the same time you're accomplishing other things, then for me, it would be a big time saver because usually I have to spend like two hours doing my hair and then two hours doing my makeup. And so now I feel like I'm almost done with my hair and I'm almost done with my makeup. Like I feel like obviously I'm gonna have to style it or do something to it. Maybe like go through and add some more like waves to the top or the front or something. Cause that is the only opinion that I kind of generally always have about products like this is the ends of my hair, the lower half of my hair looks pretty good. It looks pretty curled. If you guys have spent any amount of time here with me on my channel, then you know I don't like things to look too perfect. Even when I'm styling my hair, I do like for it to be kind of messy, kind of unkempt looking. I like the put together yet maybe I slept in this hair and makeup kind of look, you know? I don't hate this product. I don't think that it makes much sense to advertise this as like, oh, just put your hair in a single one of these and go. Like, I don't know anybody who could like neatly get all of their hair in one single one of these buns and wear it like as a normal bun on the back of your head. They don't show anybody like doing a proper sassy bun where it's just like a big bun square on the top of your head. But I just don't think, I mean, now maybe I'm wrong in that, maybe somebody out there, but that is like really tiny for all of your human hair on your head, which is a lot of times in the diagrams, what they show is like a single bun wrapped around this, like how, how? How? And then when you start doing like the multiple bun thing, I just don't think you can get it like neat enough and comfortable enough to actually like go around in public and look put together. Now, I personally would just go out wearing this cause like whatever, you know, like who really cares? But you can't, you can't do like 100% what they're advertising where you can have like a perfectly quaffed bun with hot rollers. And I honestly don't even know why you would wanna do that. So basically we just tested out hot rollers today. I don't think they're bad. I ultimately think that they are more comfortable than other hot rollers that I've tried. Other hot rollers just feel extremely like rubbery and they pull a lot. And I feel like these are softer and maybe like more lightweight than other hot rollers I've tried in the past, but for me, this is like a home thing, you know? I would love to know all of y'all's thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know how long this has been on the market. I had never seen it before. I just ran across it through Amazon Recommended the other day. So I don't know. I don't know if this is like a new thing, an old thing, if everybody already knew that this existed or not, but 
let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!